हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज मी ज्योति एंड यूर वॉचिंग आर कैंडी टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वाई आई लेफ्ट आर्किटेक्चर सो विदाउट ओवर टॉकिंग लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट टू आर वीडियो यू विल नॉट अ सिंगल रीजन वाई आई लेफ्ट आर्किटेक्चर दे आर मल्टीपल रीजन वाई आई लेफ्ट आर्किटेक्चर सो सम ऑफ द रीजन आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू लाइन बाई लाइन माई ऑल द रीजन आर मोस्टली रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट रीजन Uh, my first reason is covid pandemic i completed my architecture in 2019 after that in 2020 covid hit and it was very unpredictable situation and a very uh, difficult situation for the people and as well as for the companies uh, all the construction work was stopped and uh, there was not much work at that point of time people were only concerned about living their life not uh, investing in construction and all after that people get used to covid but at that uh, first wave of the covid people were not aware of what is going to happen so that was very much uh, difficult situation so i'll put a covid pandemic as my first reason my second reason was my marriage i left my uh, i left my company in 2021 and that was due to my marriage that was my personal reason and i shifted to the new location that is my third reason and shifting to a new location was difficult for me to getting adjust to the new location environment and finding a new job here was also a challenging for me fourth reason was lack of opportunity when i shifted to a new location i find that uh, here the opportunities were very less in architecture basically not in the other fields because uh, there were many many uh, interior forms than that of the architectural forms and uh, joining any big organization was very difficult i tried my luck i tried my best uh, to um, join any uh, good organizations but uh, it was really difficult so i joined a small uh, firm but uh, i didn't find the environment to be very friendly so i left that organization in 3 uh, months only um, so at that point of time in 3 months i understood that uh, the condition for architects and for interior designers are not good in our countries in mostly the uh, countries like nepal india and all and so i can only tell about those countries because i have lived in those countries and i think there is difficult it's very difficult for me it was difficult and i think it is difficult for most of them fifth reason is uh, the struggles that i have gone through and i think many of the people will go through and also about the some of the benefits that an employee get from our organization the employees uh, in different organization mostly in it firms you can see that people are getting different kind of uh, benefits like health insurance ppf pf funds different kind of benefits they get but in the architecture field these uh, benefits are very less very low and mostly in a small firm where uh, only 5 or 6 employees are there there if you imagine to get the health insurance uh, or any kind of this kind of benefits it's uh, unimaginable like the condition is very bad and the last reason is job security so you heard it right um, mostly in the private firms the job security is uh, not good mostly in government jobs only you could get the job security but there are uh, many firms like tcs infosys that kind of companies you have a job security as well although the uh, income is not much in those company or starting salary is not that much but also the job security is uh, there so uh, why i am pointing here job security is because after the covid pandemic i think for many people who have already settled uh, with their life i think for them job security is a very important factor for me also job security is a very important factor but the people like um, who are bachelors or, or who are living single who don't have much responsibilities from their families then i think those people have less um, um, less concern about job securities but for me or for people who have already settled who have their families who have their all the responsibilities in their families i think those people have uh, much more concern about job security so in job security if you find for architect in architecture 
i think job security is very difficult to find here but um, you can find job security in different other private firms as well uh, we cannot say that there are no any firms where you can uh, get a, a job security there are many firms where you can get a job security as well so let's uh, work with some that kind of company which can give you a job security and it is a very important factor for me i'm telling you uh, again and again that job security is after a uh, certain age job security becomes a very important factor for you so you cannot get that job security in architecture field um, it's very less or uh, it's very low that you will get a job security here and the salaries are also low paid which i again and again talk in each and every of my videos that uh, salary for architecture starting salary is very low uh, which uh, i think in the um, career period of your 10 years or 15 years which uh, also if you have opened your one form then only you could get a good salary uh, from the architecture I think uh, the person, the people who are reputed or they might earn very good amount for, for the, but for the average people who have passed from the college and if they imagine that they could get a, a good salary, then it is very difficult in architecture. And it is a truth. It is not an, a lie or it's not uh, something that people create. Uh, it's very true that you will not get a very good salary in architecture although in other um, fields like it or other kind of fields you can uh, get at least a reasonable amount of salary to start your career so guys this is the reason why i left architecture although i have a very soft corner in my heart for architecture and uh, but also i cannot continue with this because there are of this kind of multiple reasons that which i have to be frank at one point of time i was totally broken uh, because of my uh, architecture or because of my condition because i was not getting that opportunity and i was very con concerned like uh, i have studied uh, so much i want to build something in my life i have i want to do something in my life and at that point of time i was not uh, sure what to do with my life because uh, i have studied architecture for five years i was always uh, thinking that i will do architecture now at one point of time where i am standing i don't even know what should i do uh, so at that point of time i was broken but uh, later on i find the way and what way i find out uh, if you want to know then i would make one video for uh, you guys for that um, what i am doing right now or what i've started doing so i'll make one video for that also this was the harsh reality which i found out after um, coming to the real world not in the college life where i used to imagine that I don't know whatever I would do in my life. So this is the harsh reality which I faced, a uh, difficult situation I faced. Uh, but yeah, I would say that don't lose your hope. Uh, again and again, rise whenever you fall. And uh, yeah, it, the my situation might not be similar to someone else or not, might not uh, collide with uh, someone else. Uh, might be someone else situation is much more better than me or might be I'm not in this situation. So our situations are different. Uh, so it not uh, be possible for someone else to have the same situation or might be they are having a good time with architecture. That's okay. That's okay. That's very fine. But uh, this was the reality, the reality that was actually happened with me. So I'm just uh, sharing my experiences that uh, I went through. I don't uh, uh, encourage people to lose hope by seeing my video. Just uh, get encouraged. Just uh, don't lose hope. Follow your passion. But yeah, use your mind as well. Because uh, the real world is very different from our imagination and uh, at the point of time when we choose uh, anything and if you are passionate about it yeah you will find a way mm, so uh, studying is uh, will not go in a vein like it will not go in a waste obviously whatever you study that will be always with you and that will always help you in every situation so you if you want to do something you will surely do that is what I want to say. So this much for today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time. 
see you bye bye and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel until next time bye bye